Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Israel Reviews. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic uh, which is all about the Wi-Fi standards and the current Wi-Fi technology. Basically Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. I'm going to tell you what exactly Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E is. And in case you're planning to upgrade your current router or modem, should you go for Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E routers. Uh, before we begin, in case you haven't subscribed to our channel, I request you to please subscribe to our channel. In case you love our videos, please do like my video and please do share it as well. So let's talk about what Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E are. So Wi-Fi 6 is the new name for the latest Wi-Fi technology. The technical name for Wi-Fi 6 is 802.11ax. The Wi-Fi 5, which is predominantly the one that we all have been using as of now in our houses, uh, majority of the modems, in case you haven't updated your modem in the recent past, uh, your modems and everything, most of your Wi-Fi devices are actually on Wi-Fi 5 platform. The technical name for Wi-Fi 5 platform is 802.11ac. Now I'll tell you what is Wi-Fi 6 E because there is an extension of E that primarily stands for extension or enhanced. So Wi-Fi 5 has dual bands, we all understand it works on 2.4 GHz as well as 5 GHz, giving you more space to connect more devices. Similarly, Wi-Fi 6 has similar compatibility. It also works on 2.4 as well as 5 GHz. However, you will have some added advantage in terms of in case you're planning to add or extend your network to more devices. So to put it simple, in case you have at least 15 or more devices in your house, which are wireless devices, you want to use your internet connection seamlessly for 15 or more devices, you should go for a Wi-Fi 6 router. Now, what does Wi-Fi 6E does? Wi-Fi 6E opens up another band, which is the third band. That is the 6 GHz band. So primarily for Wi-Fi 6E routers, you will have 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, as well as 6 GHz of bands. Now what it does is, it will give you even more options to connect more devices. The number of devices can go as high as uh, 200 plus devices. In case you're using you know, various satellites along with your existing router, the way I have been using. So how is it different from the Wi-Fi 5 technology? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? Who should opt for it? Who shouldn't? So primarily to put it simple without going into much technicalities, Wi-Fi 6 you should consider or Wi-Fi 6E you should consider first as I said in case you are planning to use it for more devices 15 or more devices so it is definitely going to increase the amount of speed you're getting in each of your device it will help you with the streaming speed it will help you with uh, the downloading speed it will help you in terms of anything and everything in case you have smart devices in your house it is going to further improve the performance uh, to give you a live example, not exactly a live example, but just to give you an example, I was using a PTZ camera, in case you're aware, it's a camera that can be with the functionality of pan, tilt and zoom. Uh, when I was using the Wi-Fi 5 router, I used to face some lag when I used to turn around the camera and have a complete 360 degree view, 355 degree view to be specific. Now. When I have switched to the Wi-Fi 6E router, it does it so seamlessly that even if I'm uh, at a far off place, I can rotate the camera to any direction without any lag. It happens real time. So it is actually that far. So Wi-Fi 5, what it does is, it will give you a good speed using two bands, which is 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz. But as soon as you keep adding more devices to your network, you will start facing some speed issues. Your speed will slow down. 
With Wi-Fi 6, what's going to happen is it is specifically designed to improve your efficiency. So you can add the, num the number of devices you can add is like huge. Currently, if I talk about the setup that I have, we use approximately 70 devices, 70, you heard it right. That includes our smartphones, tablets, laptops, the office laptops, uh, computers that we have. We also have the smart cameras, dishwashers, refrigerator, microwave, geysers, almost all the things use uh, either the Zigbee protocol or the Z-Wave pro protocol or the Wi-Fi protocol, Wi-Fi protocol to connect to the internet. All these devices work seamlessly. So similarly, in case you have more devices, it is going to improve your efficiency. You're going to face less latency. Latency is very irritating when you're on a video call or maybe if you're streaming a video or something like that. You will not face any latency issues with Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E is, are set to be approximately 36% faster than the existing Wi-Fi 5. As I said, Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E are the latest Wi-Fi technology. It was launched in 2019, 2019. Uh, as of now, the Wi-Fi 7 is about to be launched. However, we do not have any uh, news that it will be launched before 2024. A few of the companies have started making the devices which will be compatible to the Wi-Fi 7 standard. But as of now, the latest technology is Wi-Fi 6 and 6E. Now the next part is the best part is Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E routers are backward compatible, which typically means even if you don't have any device in your house, which is Wi-Fi 6 or 6E compatible, you can still utilize your router's capability to the fullest on your existing or the older devices. Okay, let's talk about the disadvantages now. We've spoken enough about the advantages it is going to give you like efficiency and all and the speed. Now let's talk about the disadvantage. There's only one disadvantage of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6 e routers and that is the cost factor. If you're looking for a very very basic router for your Wi-Fi 6 which is Wi-Fi 6 router the basic router will cost you approximately, since the prices have gone down now, uh, it will cost you approximately 2,600 or 2,700 rupees uh, with the D-Link make. Uh, you might get a similar router in the similar range for TP-Link as well. But if you're looking for high-end routers, specifically Wi-Fi 6E routers, because a lot of brands are not making Wi-Fi 6E routers, that's kind of very, very recent as of now. 2021 is when Wi-Fi 6E was launched. We have very few companies manufacturing the Wi-Fi 6E routers. But if you want to go for a Wi-Fi 6E router along with the mesh thing, which is like two or one or two different satellites along with your main router uh, system, that can cost you anything starting from 30,000 rupees. It can go as high as 1 lakh rupees if you're planning to go for um, Netcare or B, it's, it's going to cost you much higher. So that's the only drawback or the negative part as of now of Wi-Fi 6 or 6E mesh router specifically. But if you're looking for a basic router, <coughs> you can definitely opt for the one which are available for 2,600, 2,700 rupees. So my final verdict, in case you're planning to upgrade your router, in case you're planning to upgrade the current capabilities that you have of internet, you should switch to Wi-Fi 6 compatible router. It is definitely not going to you know, increase the speed that you're getting, but you will feel more efficient. You will not have latency. The increase will not be speed because you're still going to get the same speed that your service provider, internet service provider is providing you. But the advantage is in case you opt for a higher speed, like currently I have the plan which offers me 300 Mbps, I get actually 300, 320 Mbps, Mbps on most of my devices. So that's the best thing you can do. I hope you would, you would have loved our video. In case you have any comments, queries, questions, please do post in our comment section. I will respond to your queries in case you need any assistance in terms of exploring more possibilities, exploring uh, the mesh routers, exploring anything else. 
do comment and i will assist you thank you so much for watching bye bye